Rob Green here from FSW UK welcome to the studio once again and in this video I've got the new CM35 Hillmore um, A-frame bender from Diversitec okay this A-frame bender will do 7 8 and inch and eighth um, half hard solid drawn copper pipe um, and we sell it now because it's the only alternative we can offer you to the gear benders or the imperial gear benders that were around for many many years which has now been discontinued because of quality issues so we in fsw now we now stock the a-frame benders in all the branches and it's available on our website to buy as well okay um i've been testing them i've been putting them through their paces i'm no installation engineer but um they're fairly straightforward to use once you um know the pros and cons of them okay so let's run through what they what they look like first so there we go a frame bender because they move into a, an, an a section obviously like that um this is i've unpacked them out of the big cardboard box they come with um to use them you simply pull them apart and pull them apart until they stop okay they will collapse on the floor for you they come to a stop this little storage pin here is to stop this lever moving when you're carrying it so you move this and you put it into the back here so you just have to lift it up a tad and lock it in so once you've done that now in fact let's put it this way once you've locked it in when you're pulling on this now it can't actually collapse back into you when you're using it okay um <coughs> excuse me one of the things it has is a, a welded handle on there okay for carrying it and this is how i suggest you carry it this is the most obvious way i can think of so when you pull it back up together okay you put the retaining pin back in here as per the instruction manual which is on my desk there and i would suggest you read it because it is helpful okay so you just move this in and out until uh, bear with me okay so it locks this so this doesn't move when you're carrying it and don't try and carry it this side of you well you can carry it if you're left-handed you're okay but what i suggest you do you bring it to this right hand side because it will open so if you carry it like this it doesn't open away from you it, it holds into your body on the frame i don't know why there's no retention pin to stop the a-frame opening as it is now okay but you know with a little bit of common sense you get used to using this beast okay so let's do it again let's remove the pin and let's locate it in the a-frame itself let's do it that way okay so let's talk about a few of the other features with it it has this weird little plate on the top with three bolts that actually are nuts and bolts and washers that come loose apparently this is for buying an additional vice um but i can't i don't know whether plumbers actually buy it or not because this is obviously used more by plumbers before um we were using the the seven eighths and inch and eighth formers for it um but nevertheless it's there for you and it's quite handy to put your foot against when you're actually pulling down on the pipe to bend it lift this up and this is your uh, pipe retaining block again this is designed mainly for plumbers so you've got something like 15 22 28 and whatever the next size up is but generally what i've been finding testing this is that if you use it on the second one up you can do both the 7 8 and the inch and 8 with this you don't have to keep changing it okay again when you fold it away you fold it back down on itself this is your lever arm okay this lever arm is adjustable lift it up and then screw it down obviously dependent on whether you've got seven eight or inch and eight blocks so i'm going to show you this now in a minute okay and um quite cleverly they store or the frame allows you to store the seven eight and the inch and eight formers using these little retaining clips um, which is great so let me put that back in there for you now show you how to do this always put the clip back in the little pins that hold the formers because you're not going to lose them i can see that being one of the first things anybody would lose remove the pin for the former block off with that and wait to go like that back this off a little bit okay run him down um it also has an extension bar which you will use a lot on seven eighths with this you can get away with just using the original lever and to be fair depends how strong you are and you can get away with it on the inch and eighth um 18 gauge but it's a struggle on the 16 gauge 410a spec copper it is handy for you to drop this lever extension bar because it gives you more leverage okay it's worth um worth i use it a lot doing these particular bends okay 
Okay, so what else can I tell you? All right, now we've got storage on here for the formers, but the two guides, the inch and eighth and the seven eighth guide, there's nowhere to store them. So once they're out of the big box, which is going to be, you're not going to put it back in there. You've got nowhere to store these on the units, okay? It's a little bit of a, a sort of thought that it, it should be a little bit, so you should have some little tubes on here where you can drop them in and store them. Otherwise, what I've done for it, yeah, I just put a cable tie around and strap them on to make sure you keep them the same. Now, let's have a little look. It's been some 7 8 pipes. So this is standard gauge 7 8, so it's suitable for both 404 and 410A. Okay, and I can't do that without the right format. Sorry, guys. Okay, crack this one a creech, put that in there, drop this in. Put that in there. So we've got the 7 8 guide and I've got a bit of 7 8 pipe. Okay, we drop the pipe in. Let me turn this away so around so I can show you. What um, it recommends in the manual is to take this guide 25 mil past the actual former. Okay, but what I find if you actually take it level with the former, I think it works a little bit better. Now, tighten this down till it just touches the guide, don't over tighten it and go one half turn uh, back, okay? So there you go, one half turn. So what we're gonna do, let's not waste too much pipe on this here. We're gonna do that back to there. And what I found is, is that it's handy that if you go nice and steady, don't go in jerking motions, okay? So I'm not gonna use the extension now because this is seven eighths, but a foot, foot on there and then nice and steady from the beginning. Okay, keep it nice and smooth as you can. And even this is quite um, quite firm to bend, okay? I should imagine a lot harder our copper than what plumbers is, okay? Let's use the extension because it does make life easier. You can just literally nice and steady. You can see that he wants to pull away from you, okay? Now, um, ideally, if you put an anchor in the floor to secure it or you've got the, the mate that can stand on it, but it's no big deal, really. You do get used to working with it. Now, one of the other things that it doesn't have, much like the hydraulic benders, it doesn't have any demarcation lines for the degree angles, like 45 and, uh, and 90 degrees, okay? So you have to guess it, but speaking to boys who've used A-frame benders for years, it's not a big deal. Like everything else, you get proficient with it, okay? So we're gonna drop it a little bit further. And again, it's by eye. Okay, as you lift it up, the guide's gonna fall out. Pull him up there. Now take your bar out. My ceiling isn't very high in here. Store him away nice and safe. And the easiest way I find to get the pipe out of there is to pull it from this way, to rock it and pull it this way. If you try and tap it this way, it doesn't help. It doesn't want to come out of there. So there you go. There's a perfect 7 8 bend. It's not quite 90 degrees, but um, you can see there's no throating going on in there at all, no rippling of the inside of the bend, okay? She'll do the same thing. Uh, with the seven, with the inch and eight, 18 gauge, and she will um, easily bend, I say easily bend, you've got to work harder on the 16 gauge inch and eighth, okay? Now, in my, with my inexperience of being an install engineer, when I first started using it, I was badly rippling the inside of the pipe, okay? Now that's not the pipe's fault, in fairness, it's my fault because I didn't understand how to bend with it. Now what, what you have to read, and it's typical of an engineer, I didn't read the instruction manuals, which, I've asked, which is why I've asked you to, okay? If, for example, you were using it with the inch and eighth block, okay, so let's do that. Okay, and um, going down the other way, and you go back down to seven eighths, if you don't remember to close this down closer to the guide, the seven eighth guide, you'll be too far away and it will ripple the pipe. And when I mean ripple the pipe, it ruins it. And that's what it does if you're not careful. So, and one of the other things I found is slow and steady wins every time, okay? If you come down with the lever from this point, nice and steady, it doesn't ripple it. If you start, if you get hold of it and do that, I found, I found it will ripple the pipe if you're not careful. It tends, the thicker the pipe, like the 16 gauge 410, simply doesn't ripple it because it's that much thicker, okay? It's a nice bit of kit. It's not everybody's cup of tea because it's big, it's heavy, it's 26 kilos. 
but if you were doing a VRF and you were on site there's no big deal you set it up yourself and you're away to go saves you buy in um, in Sinead and seven eight fittings and more importantly it saves you the hassle and, and of, of having to braze so saving on OFN you're saving on the welding rods but more importantly you're reducing the potential for leaks on the job the more bends you have or sorry the, the more um, braze bends you have increases the leak ratio okay so um, I think I just about covered everything with it it's a nice bit of kit like I said available in all FSWs if you need to know more by all means comment on the YouTube and I'll get back to you or you'll see us on, uh, on you'll find me on Refrigeration Engineer UK Facebook page so thanks for watching I'll see you all again soon in the next video bye now